everyone anyway for more slay the spire has our really strong ironclad run and i think starting here and going up and then to the right gives us the highest number of elite battles which is important for our black star in particular and gaining the maximizing our number of relics earned i'm playing i'm playing this right today i'm a little bit further ahead I'm even further ahead now in our backlog because it's late i wanted to you know i just want to play something and normally I would be playing, let's uh, gain some block, gain, do I just, I think it was 10 blocks, I'm gonna, I guess I just hit them, was there 17 with a 4 cost blood for blood? That seems terrible, but I don't have anything else going on. I do want to hit the exploder with this, oh, I was waiting for the thorns guy to kill himself, and I want the exploder to die before he gains too much explosion power. Um, yeah, normally I'm just playing something like, Hearthstone or Battle Right or something before I go to bed. But I don't want to be playing a multiplayer game because it's actually Christmas Eve tonight. And <laughs> I felt a little ashamed playing video games like 1 a.m. on Christmas Eve. You know what? Tonight, let's just chill and I'll just get a little further ahead on Slay the Spire and keep my shame to myself. Now there's anything inherently you want to play video games on Christmas Eve until 4 a.m. You're allowed to. I just wanted to. I don't I didn't want to. I don't I didn't want to join that community. I didn't feel comfortable with it. Call me old fashioned. So let's start demon forming. Yeah, we have lots of card draw. So let's demon form it up. So start getting some strength. Let's offering. And then, ooh, do I bludgeon one? Yeah, that just kills it. Oh yeah, yeah, we just bludgeon this thing. Goodbye. Boom. Excellent. And that burns that. We can. We don't really need to draw right now because. Yeah, we don't need to draw. We're out of energy. We'll jump turn. Then he busts his thorns, and you, yeah, continue to daze me, which is super annoying. We need to kill this guy. <laughs> he continues to daze me. All right, just whirlwind. Whirlwind's really scary when they have a thorns, so I do not want a thorns. I can flex. I think whirlwind. I'm gonna take a lot of damage. It's only five damage. Uh, do I just eat the thorns damage? I feel like I do. All right, because I can't defend here. It's going to hit me. It's going to continue to get more thorns up. It's going to continue to daze me. I'm not drawing any cards. Let's go for it. Let's just take the damage. There was like 10 damage I took. And we heal from burning blood. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Dexterity. We have weak. We have dexterity. We have swift. I'll keep those potions. Any cards I want. Bloodletting. Bloodletting is fine. Yeah, I think bloodletting. Extra energy is fine. Let's get the potion. Might want more. What are these? Oh, these guys. So we might want more card draw. Our number of cards are limited, but we're starting to get lots of energy. It's not like that bad. Do we, do we immediately whirlwind these guys? Might be better to combust and then whirlwind. I don't have any card draw. Let's just let's draw. We could double tap whirlwind. That's always a fun time. Uh, yeah. So we double tap and whirlwind. Which is just them all dead immediately. God, that's so strong. Add a card. More bloodletting. Draw two cards. Ooh, an upgraded pommel strike or an upgraded flame barrier. We could get double up on flame barrier. That's a lot of block we're getting. Draw two cards or even more energy. <sighs> Oops. What a mistake. That might be a little too extreme, but I'm thinking hyper buffing whirlwind. Things like that. Might be getting a little too greedy. Yeah, we need more. Really need more card draw. Maybe let's get a little insane. 43 is a lot of damage. Notice other stuff is helpful. You can hit one for 43 and then eat it. Like eat Thorns guy for 43 and then eat him. Or a permanent HP buff. That's three. That costs four total. We have five, so I can should I can just shrug it off. It'll just be double tap bludgeon, which is extreme and unnecessary. So I'm going to do hit the spiker. And then eat the spiker, which activates our pen nub. And there's nothing clever I can do with the pen nub. Yeah, so I'm just gonna eat him. Kind of a waste on the pen nub, but it improves our max HP. Ah, days we're gonna get really dazed. That's fine. Thorns is down. We hit the exploder before it gets too strong on exploding, and these guys can daze me all day. Gain some strength here. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> we'll be digging. Throw up some block. 
I can bloodletting lose three to gain nine block. That's worth it. Or I can just bash one. That's probably not worth it. Let's just gain further block. And the turn. We don't have an ice cream. All these relics won't have ice cream yet. Little little bit of damage. We gained six block though back. Draw three cards, not control any we'll gain six block, draw four cards. Offering gives us no cards with two energy. That I don't know what that sound is. Combust or twin strike, deal eight damage twice. I mean I do both. We want to throw on our defend, we're at 21 blocks, we don't take any damage. We activate combust and then I just twin strike one of these guys, and that'll be the exploder before his exploding gets too uh, powerful. Because he buffs me out of detonation damage he does, right? We can suffer a few days. Dazes. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that to get too high. Ooh, whirlwind time. Flex. And then 17 times 4 whirlwind. Easy peasy. So strong. Swift potion, I'm happy with my potions. Spot weakness and pummel are both good. Pummel's exhaust, you don't have a lot of exhaust cards. Spot weakness, though, is really strong. Gain four strength, that's really good. Or strength affects heavy blade three times. That's four strength, let's go the strength. We already have a multiplied strength modifiers with whirlwind and twin strike and stuff. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you constantly find yourself losing your way as the walls and ground seem to inexplicably shift before your eyes. The constant whispering voices in the back of your head aren't helping things either. Passing by a structure you are certain you have previously seen, you start to question if you're going insane or if the impossible geography this place is starting to get to. You need to change something and soon. That's what the voices say anyway, and why would they lie? Embrace madness. Receive two madness, lose 10 HP. That's not a problem. Random cost zero for the rest of the combat, that seems pretty good. Or heal 25, but become cursed. I, I, let's become, let's embrace the madness. Something in you cracks. Only the truly mad can understand a place like this. So you give to the chattering voices and continue on with a new perspective. Things do seem to make so much more sense now. And all I took was a little bit of damage. You there, I don't have that much money. A shopkeeper. Enough for to gain 30 gold and 10% more likely to find treasure, that's not bad. Or upon pickup, choose and upgrade a skill. Or we can buy a card. Choose an attack from your card draw and place it into your hand. Exhaust. That lets me get Whirlwind when necessary. That's not worth it, probably. Enemy loses 9 strength for the rest of the turn, and exhaust, that's not terrible. I do, like, ex zero cost exhausts aren't terrible. Add a random attack card to your hand, it costs zero this turn. A random. For one. So this is a one cost cast a random attack, but that's not, that's okay. Uh, that's like super good. We don't have any rampages in our deck. I like the idea of a secret weapon, though. Do we have any cards we need to remove? We could remove a base card, because they're getting a lot of trash in our deck. So we can remove a base card. I'm thinking secret weapon, because we choose an attack, so we could, we're really built around dropping like a uh, whirlwind at a good time. So I think I'm taking that card. What are you guys? You are artifacts. Are you artifacts? You're not artifacts. You're just, you're just you have strength, just strong dudes. Uh, we're gonna power up. Let's warcry first. Let's offering first. And then war cry. And then put a card on top of your drop pile. Good whirlwind next turn for gaining a lot of strength. So I'm gonna be powering up this turn. Let's put whirlwind back. So I'm gonna be going demon form. I'm gonna be combusting. I'm gonna be dropping some strength bonuses. And then I want to not take as much damage. And that is all of our cards. That's our. That's why I don't need that much card draw. So I take one damage this turn. I can eat one damage. Also, burns! Oh no, we're getting burned. Ouch. I don't like that at all. Uh, bludgeon for 49. Or whirlwind 15 times 4 is not bad. They're gonna hit me really hard though. So I can't really afford to do that. So let's block. Block. Flame barrier. Tons of armor. Can't touch this. Because we are actually getting kind of hurt. Ah, the burns! I don't have a... a elixir anymore. No elixir. 
and I cycle my whirlwind already in because they are relentless. This is a terrible hand. Draw cards. Drink. Into a block, draw a card. That's not. No, none of these are good. Could apply some weakness. Should have gained dexterity. Throw it. Uh, you're just slightly stronger. And then I. Well, we're gonna hit them. Let's hit them with maximum strength. 19 times 2 is pretty good. Ouch, the burns! That is going to be really hard. Ah, we need to sleep. We need to go. We need to find a campfire and take a nap. This is getting very painful. Too many burns. Too many burns. Madness, you've been doing great a while ago. Metallicize has been doing great a while ago. We need to draw cards immediately. Armaments. To upgrade body slam. All we need to do is drop madness, which hit body slam. Let's upgrade body slam. Now let's upgrade. Drop metal size, and we just have to play everything else. Twenty-one damage is good. Then we get it for twenty-nine and twenty-six. So hit you for twenty-six, obviously to kill you. And that costs zero, but I played too many cards. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is uh. Velvet Choker is starting to become a bit of a problem. So many burns, but he's very, very weak. He's also getting very, very strong. Secret weapon. There are no. We only have. God, we don't have a. <laughs> we don't have a drop pile. How obnoxious! I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. I got. I have nothing to do. Yep, nothing to do. Hit him. Because Secret Weapon being the... I only really have one card in my drop pile, the discard pile isn't thrown back in yet. So I'm very nearly dead. We should be able to kill him this time. Right. I should have the cards to kill Don't have the cards to kill him. Apply Weak and Vulnerable, so it doesn't kill me. Gain 17 block, so I don't take any damage. End the turn. Oh no, I do take damage because the burns. But the Metal Size... Comes into play. It's getting very complicated. He's almost dead. Give me an attack card. Our deck needs trimming out. It doesn't help that I have a bunch of burns in it and bash them. Okay, we had 17 strength though. We just didn't have attack cards. Oh yeah, we get double relic drop because of Black Star. You can now remove cards from your deck at campfires. That's good. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. That's pretty good. Some healing. That's good. Do I want any of these? That's exhaust. Heavy blade plus deal 14 strength effects at five times. So that's a ton of damage. I do want that, even though our deck is a little fat. And then we want to go here to the campfire, of course. And we can now. Well, I guess we can toke it up and remove a card from your deck, which would be great, but I'm very hurt. So I'm going to take the healing, which is not something we've had to do much yet. Because we've been pretty strong, but I. We need to heal. Like, we're not doing super hot all of a sudden. Uh, let's madness it up. Do I want to do that now? No, I do not, because what I want to do... Play Combustion. Drop both blocks, and then Madness Heavy Blade. So I have a free Heavy Blade for the rest of the game. And I want you... We need to not be dazed. Our deck is kind of way too fat as it is, so we need to reduce the amount of dazes we take. Or suffer from. Two? I can deal with two. We can do two. If it just keeps dazing me forever, that could be a big problem. I have no... <laughs> I don't have any block. Draw three cards? Draw the cards? Yeah, draw the cards. What's up? Is it time for demon form? We can demon form for strength. We can play four more cards. I don't think I need to weaken them. That's easy this turn. We stop three, we play two more. We can body slam for 16 and just make that not happen. And then defend, that'd be nine. We take less damage, do quite a bit less damage. Yeah, for it. Do I have a metal size on? I do not, but we do get the bonus from self forming clay combustion combo. Oh, what, what is that? Would you get 20 damage? Why is that 20 damage? What happened? There's only one day. 
Okay, now it's 20 damage. That scared me. I got very scared for a second. You, see, <laughs> you heard it. You heard how scared I got. Uh, 11 damage times 4 is not enough to kill him. Enough to kill him, but then I take his thorns. That's really bad. Deal 45 damage. Just kills him in one hit. Which is great. I don't want to take 20 damage, though. I don't have much of a choice. Too vulnerable? Eh, no. Alright, he's gone. Thank goodness. Choose a card. Okay, if I play this one, I, I can get feed, which doesn't do me any good. That's free. So I get some free damage in. It's the best I can do. See a secret weapon. I didn't use you the way I wanted you to be used, but... That's 11. Times 1. Which is better than 1 times 1. Or 9 times 1. Really gotta remove some of these bad cards. I don't think we have a chance. I don't think we have the opportunity, though. I was like, go back to a shop. I don't have the money, then, for it. And again, I'm starting to get beat down. Do that for the upgrades. Draw two cards. Dazed, go away. But if I keep it in, it's fine. How much I have? Three energy. We can do... One... Two, three. One, two... Three. He has 37. And I have... What, 31? I don't have enough, don't have enough damage to kill him. It's going to be for 10, so I want to keep that. I go one, two, one. And then we can feed next time. Enter. He gets here for 10. Takes a little bit of thorns. He gains block. How much blocks he gain? Quite a bit. We should be able to kill him now. In fact, not just kill him. We should be able to eat him. So that's 24. He has 25, so he'll survive that. And then we eat him. Nom, 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 nom. Plus full max HP. Should have drank the regen potion as well. No. Not good enough stuff. Gain 7 block, deal 7 damage to one guy. That's not good enough. Clothesline isn't quite good enough. Shrug it off, not quite good enough. I think we skip it. Our deck is problematically large right now. Do Voodoo. For each curse in your deck, additional strength. We have no curses, do we? So that that's that's not helpful for us. Howdy, howdy, howdy. If we get another whirlwind here, we just erase these guys. Okay, draw whirlwind. Draw whirlwind. We drew whirlwind. Go for it. Oh, the it was because we didn't we weren't double casting it. But they're still all gonna die this turn. I just take a touch of damage. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna be hitting me like that. I hope you hope you're aware of this. Uh, keep that, keep that, keep that. Bash, we don't need. Bash, you know what? Not impressive bash. Kinda wanna get rid of bash. And a free heavy blade again. Didn't actually get to kill any of them. Isn't that isn't that funny? Get and kill this guy though. You'll kill yourself on my thorns. But I still take a little bit of damage. And now this we, he has one HP we can kill. You're going, you're going, but you're dead. So you're all dead. Not a terrible fight. Another shockwave wouldn't be bad. Like I said, exhaustion cards aren't terrible. Because it's exhausted and it's out of my deck, so even though a deck starts out a little bit fat, it does reduce. Uh, let's immediately drink some regen. And dexterity. He's not attacking me, so I can't spot weakness on him. No reason to secret weapon, unless I pull... Oh, are we on double damage time? I think we're on double damage time. Do 18 times 5, or we do... It's almost 100 damage. Or I draw the bludgeon. I don't know which one's actually better. I think I just draw the bludgeon. That's 86. So it, it about same. I'm pretty sure one would have been slightly more damage. But he's half dead already, or half dead. He's intangible, intangible, intangible. 
reduce all damage taken. Oh yeah, this guy. I remember this guy. I quite well remember this guy. Okay, here we don't take any damage, so I just... Oh, reduces all damage taken to one, so there's no point even... Ugh! Ugh! Hit him for one! And gain a little bit of block, and then we... Oh yeah, we hit a Thorns M for one! Good thing we got him with that big hit Why is ethereal. Before he's ethereal. It's kind of what you have to do, right? Shockwave him. Warcry for block cards, please. Uh, put on top of our drop pile, huh? This is gonna hurt quite a bit. Cause I only have seven block. How much damage does the, the burning bush do? Ten. Here, Tangible wears off. Now we need to kill him. We need to draw cards. Two weak and vulnerable. He's still vulnerable. He's vulnerable right now. I don't have enough to kill him. That's infuriating. I can bash him for firm vulnerability. Madness, I get a free defend out of it. I'll for something different. Oh, this is rough. We had just really bad draws. He's at 22, but I need to survive another round. And he's gonna be ethereal again. Oh, this guy! I invited through that potion. It would've been 10. He's still been at 12. It would've been would not have been enough. I get another madness. I can bloodletting, bloodletting madness forever. That's not good. That's not what I want. Just get a free defend. Sure, free defense is fine. Lose three HP, gain block. That's not good enough. Oh, he's barely hitting me though. He's burning me though. I bet. Right, isn't that something he's doing? He burns. Yep, there it goes. He's so close. He's so close to being dead. He's hit me for 40 damage. I need blocks. Can I get some blocks, please? No way. No, no way. Come on, I'm dead to this Joker. <sighs> so I can only do three damage to him. I hate this boss so much. There goes seven, hits me for 40. I have 37 HP. Oh, we were so strong. I got killed by Ethereal Guy, who we needed to. We had so much burst damage, and we could have killed him. But. I didn't get my, you know, slaying car hand. I didn't have the right hand at the exact right time. Which is why this guy's a pain, because you don't have the right hand at the right time, you're dead. We also didn't have enough defense for when a guy who kind of has an ebb and flow of really high attack, and then you need to counterattack. We didn't have the defense for when he was attacking us. So we're done. Do I get an unlock? We didn't even get an unlock. But let's me go in. As the silent, and we'll try another run as the silent. I'm really disappointed because we're doing so well. And then we hit that roadblock on that one champion. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe for more fun on Twitch. Out. You guys know the deal. I'll see you next time. And your obscure compliment is that you would not have been one shot in a whirlwind of death as a little slimy goo pile. Congratulations. You're you're not a slimy goo pile. You're much greater than that. Keep it up. Bye bye.